Hi and welcome to this instruction video on how to assemble an instant box camera. Up front, not to worry if you are not the most crafty person. It is very easy. We go through it step by step. You don't need many tools and it's really not a problem at all. Our cameras come in two finishes. One is the natural finish, you'll see here, which is basically the plain wood laser cut. And the second finish, which is what we will assemble today, is a dark wood stain. There are pros and cons to both of our types. The natural camera, as you can see here, without any varnish or stain, uh, is great if you want to wood stain it yourself. So let's say you want to have a mahogany stain or a specific type of wood stain. So for that, the natural is good. The one we're going to assemble is already wood stained. So it's really good if you want to keep it like that. It's a dark stain or if you want to put a paint on top, a color. So some funky color, anything you choose. So that's better because the inside of the camera is already dark and you just have to varnish it. I'll explain you later on why that is really important. That has to do with the light that comes in. So two types, the light one and the dark one. What we will be doing today is first assemble the cameras dry. That means without gluing it, we're just going to pre-assemble them with a bit of tape so you can see the shape and the camera makes more sense to you. And you have it sort of finished but not glued together. And that will allow you to really get a grasp on how it works and it will be much, much easier later on to glue it together. So we'll do that for the camera and we'll also do that for the tripod, which is also included in the packages. So what is in the box you are going to receive? There are four packages. Package one, the holder, the paper box, tray and the lens. We will use that the very last today. The focus system, that's the interior of the camera where later on you put your photographic paper. This is the tripod. So everything concerning the tripod is in here. And this is what we'll unpack and work on first is the actual box. You'll see on the actual packaging, we have all the ingredients. So any kind of screw, dowel, metalwork, rods, it's all described in here and inside in separate packages. So let's work first on the box. We're unwrapping it and uh, see what's inside. All right, so we have all our box pieces and parts. And then we have a package with all the metal that works, the screws, the dowels. So let's put that on the side first. What we're going to do is we assemble the box dry, as I said before. So that means no gluing. We're just going to use a tiny bit of masking tape to keep it in place. And because we have sort of a, um, a system that really is easy to put together, yeah, it's going to be no problem whatsoever. All right, what are the pieces we have? These parts, the small, thin parts, are for the lid. I'm putting them on this side. Then we have the back door, actually. That's the front. That's where the lens is. We have these two small pieces, which are also for the front. That's where the handle the, for the negatives will be later on. The piece with these two holes, that's for the top, for the lid. That's where the handle will be attached to. That's where on the side where your arm goes in. And the thicker plate, it's the thickest of them all. It has three holes. Yeah. Uh, is the bottom. This carving here is for the tripod plate where you can also add a regular tripod to. So this has to be placed on the bottom. Okay. And we have another side. This is the plain one. All right, I'll put it here. All right, let's start with the bottom. So we're placing this part downwards. Yeah. And I'm going to face it to the front here. And I'll take the piece with the lens hole. Yeah. I'm going to put that in the front here. Now you can see 
for example, here there's a hole where later on we put a, put a dowel, and here these holes are still blocked. They're actually cut by the laser, but they weren't just put out. So take a little screwdriver and just pop that through. You'll see how it falls through very easily. So I'm going to place that here. And I'm going to take one of the sides. I'm going to take the side with the armhole. So that's the one with the hole. I'm going to place it right. That's sort of our standard. So I'm sliding in here with my right hand because later on you're going to use it like that. If you're left-handed, you can actually place it on the other side. That is possible. And you use it with the left hand. So if you would like to do that because you're left-handed, do it. All right. It's quite easy. We have here, if you look at the, the front part in detail, you'll see here's our logo. And on the top, there are small little holes in here. Yeah, it's important that they are on the outside of the camera because later on here, the closing mechanisms will be attached to that. So have a look, a detailed look for that. Okay, so I'll put it on the outside. It holds quite well in place automatically. And what I'm gonna do is just gonna take a bit of tape. Okay, and now let's do the other side. Also here, you have markings on the top. Yeah, there are three holes here. That's for the hinges later on to close the lid. So make sure those are on the outside. We'll do the same with the back. Also here, you have holes here. Yeah, hinge holes and later on for the closing mechanism. Okay, so that's the first part. Then we have here the door for the back. There are also different markings here. They're the ones that correspond with the hinge, two markings, two markings, and the ones that close with the opening and closing mechanism. So let's place that here, just inside. Now, let's get to these pieces here. What are they? That's a frame that goes on the inside behind the door. Yeah, that's actually to make the door light safe. When you close the door, that through these gaps, no light is coming through. So that's what this is for. Let's do that first. Now you'll see, here are these dowel openings. And we can place basically this inside and weave these dowel openings here. We can scoop that in. It's quite easy. For that, we're going to open our package. All right, you can do what I just did, which I made a bit of order here, sorted it out, the different pieces and parts. What we have is two small hinges, which are for the back door to open and close, two bigger hinges for the lid to connect to the box, two closing mechanisms yeah, to open and close the box, a closing mechanism to slide, that's for the back door. This is the handle for the box. This is actually to stop the lid from opening too much later on. Yeah, we'll place it on the inside. This is the lens ring. That's for later on the lens will be attached to the box and will fit that into the box hole. That's the tripod plate. These are protective corners for the corners of the box, which we'll glue and nail in. We have magnets and we have smaller screws that are all in these mini packages, yeah, which we'll open on later. Actually, these are tiny nails and here are the screws. So let's put it to the side. All we need for now are the dowels. Let's put in the dowels with this. They all fit perfectly in. Yeah? You don't have to put all of them in. It's just for now for stability that it holds. So you'll see, I'll just slide that through. Let's do another one here, perpendicular. That's actually enough for now. And if I turn that around, you'll see it's on the inside now. Okay. So that's that part. And then we have these two pieces. They're later on to connect 
the sleeve. We have a light tight sleeve where your arm goes into the camera and these are later on to connect the sleeve around with a rubber band. So we'll take those dowels, put them through, up, up, and on the inside, not on the outside, on the inside, here we go. First one, and do not the dowel, the second one. Yeah. This is just for you to understand how the camera works, so you don't have to put in all the dowels and all the pieces. Let's put it back in here. You can see here still a couple of them closed. Later on, I'll just punch them through, like so, and they go through. Okay. Okay, so I'll just do two. That's actually enough. Yeah, I can. Secure it with tape. Now we have these two small pieces. They're here in the front. Yeah, that's where later on the holder will be with a screw. All right, that's that. Um, we can put that on the side. Yeah, that's the box and we'll make the lid for it. It is very easy. You find your four pieces here. Also here we have markings. One, two, three, one, two, three for the hinges and one, two, one, two for the closing mechanisms. So make sure that they're on the outside of the lid. Yeah, so this way, all right. And that was pre-building the box. Okay, that is the box. So now you understand which pieces go where. As I said, most important part is to make sure you have those markings on the outside. Yeah. Here we have one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's for the closing mechanism. And here there are three markings and three markings, three and three. That is for hinges. All right, let's go to the second part. Let's unwrap the focusing system. So what do we have in this package? Small package again for all the dowels, the screws and the metal elements. We have three rods. That's where our focus system will later on slide along. Two are the same size and one is a little smaller. We have these two round pieces, one with a hole, one with just an engraving. They go together later on and they are the knob for your focusing pole. We have these four elements. One round, one straight. And these two are almost the same except for one has an extra hole. That's for the back of the camera. These will be later on attached to the box and the rods will be attached to these. Okay, all in good time, so no, no worries if it sounds complicated. Um, so then we have these two elements, which are sort of going around these parts. Yeah. If you place these four pieces together, you actually see that the large holes align yeah, here that's where later on we put the rods inside and this will slide along the rods okay and on the inside here I'll take those two away for now on the inside here we'll have this piece yeah then here we have an acrylic plate yeah which is sanded on one side the sanded part actually is later on in the box in the camera when the light comes through the lens it hits the sanded glass and proj that projection then becomes visible. If it was clear, we wouldn't see the image, but because it's a sanded glass, the light breaks on that part and we can actually see the image and later on we'll focus on that. So that's sort of our fo focusing glass, we could say. Um, it's important later on that the sanded, R, the sanded part, the sanded area, because one is clear, one is sanded, 
is in the direction of the lens. Yeah? Because that's where we place the paper on and our focusing will be on that. So we have those sanded areas. Like that. Hold the line. Then that goes on top. And that goes inside. Yeah? That is our focusing system. Okay. Now I'm going to put some dowels in here and um, tape it up so that we just know what it looks like when it's finished. So let's unwrap our little parcel. Lots of dowels here. Um, a clip that's later on for focusing. Two screws that's You'll see later on to attach the focus plate because we can shift it. That's actually the hinge for the focus plate to open up. And we have a little holder from leather. There's some small nails and screws and lots of dowels. I'll first take this part and If the holes are a little bit tight for the dowels, just tap them in a bit. Not too much because this is just a test, so we have to take them out later on. Part one. Take these two parts. As you can see, this one has an extra hole. Yeah? So that one goes to the back of the camera because later on the focusing rod will be in there. If you look at the pieces we've put together, the back is this area here yeah? where we have those extra supports. And you'll also see there's an extra hole here which we don't have here, which means you match up this hole of that hole, okay? If you put that, there's the dowel on top, okay? Take another dowel, put it in here if you like. Tight hole, not too much because otherwise I have trouble taking it out, okay? So we aligned these holes. And then another one, it's easy to align, just put it here, okay? Let's take a Test dowel for now. It'll be sticking out on all sides. Okay, so that's the focusing frame. Now we create what's inside here. So that's first this element, this wooden part. Yeah. Then Plexiglass, which goes to the front, as I said before. Yeah. So the sanded part is facing frontwards. Okay, sanded part. And this part here. Okay. All of these will align with the dowel holes. Up. Oh, those dowel holes. There are four of them. There are two more holes, as you can see here, here, yeah, or four actually. They're smaller. They will be later on to attach this inset with the frame. Okay, so don't worry about those for now. So we can just put dowels in the bigger holes. The dowels wouldn't fit in those small ones anyway, so you can only put them in the big ones. Align that. So that's the inset. That inset goes directly in here. And that little frame goes in here. That's later on where you place the photo paper. We'll create this hinge with the letter piece here. Yeah. And we have on the top here that small part. And you open it up place your paper in and close it. Okay, so that is the main focusing 
mechanism that we then have on the rods. Because we created a system where you can use different size papers. That means right now here, this is about 10 by 15 centimeter. We have two adapters. These things here. Yeah? One is bigger. One is smaller. Okay. So you place those together. And I would place them, if you're right-handed, you want your paper to be here on the right side. Yeah? If you're left-handed, you can make it on the left side. Because remember, we can place the opening of our arm on the left or the right, depending if you're left or right-handed. Okay, so I'm gonna make it right-handed. So I'm just gonna place some dowels here, test. Okay, so we have these two frames that later on go in here, just slide like that. And for them to hold, what we actually do is, you can see there are extra holes here. We have a dowel, which will cut a bit, and we can sort of slide it on and off quite easily. On the inside here, we will later on glue magnets. And these magnets will then hold on our area here very, very well. Okay, that is the inside of the focusing frame. Let's attach these for test onto the camera. What do you see here? We have lots of dowel holes all around our box and the same here on these pieces. So what we do first, we take the long ones. Yeah, that rounded one goes where our lens hole is. So just on the inside, place it in. Yeah, and put the dowel in. Take the second long one, yeah, and I'm gonna place it right here. You place it with this part upwards. So you see there's a ledge now that has a double function. One, it's later on we'll place our focusing system in, but it's also that no light enters the box yeah, when we place the lid on top afterwards. And now we have these two elements, yeah, which we're not placing in in this very instant, we first attach the rods. Here it's important that you see on the back of the camera, there is an extra large hole here. That is for one of the rods to pass through. Yeah? And it goes into, you'll see, it's two different types of them. The one that has an extra hole. So that one goes here. Yeah? You just put it on top and it goes in here. So, but first, we'll attach the longer rods because there are two long ones, one short one. Take the two long ones, place it through here, place it through here. This goes on top like that. Yeah. Again, the hole has to be aligned with this hole. Place it in. And I'm gonna slide that into the box now. Down. And those areas, yeah, they just go snuck in here. Okay. That's the first. Just have to push through it here carefully, then I'm not gonna slide it out. Okay, number one, very good. And number two. So, as we can see here now, that's all placed in. Yeah. We haven't even put dowels in here, but it doesn't matter because there's holes on top here. And this is where later on we'll slide our focusing system. Okay. And our last dowel, we can put in here. And place it in that hole which we have right here. Okay. And later on, we put these knobs here and we'll slide our focusing system. So this is the focusing, okay? So that's already a big part of the camera set and sort of pre-built. The next step will be the 
holder for the front and also the tripod. All right, next step is we're looking at the paper box, the holders and the tray in this package here. Let's open it up. What we have here is, that's our sleeve. It's already prefabricated. Where later on, you'll enter the camera through that. We can put it on the side. We only need it at the very end of the construction. Then we have our two trays, the chemical trays for later on for the developer and the fixer. And in one tray, lots of little things. We have very important the lens. This is for the paper box, the hinge, this leather piece. And then we have lots of small parts. So we have dowels, the dowels, we have a rubber band that's uh, for the sleeve later on to put in. This is for the negative holder. I'll show you in a second. We have a little super glue for the magnets and also a little metal pins for the tripod that we glue in. And here we have some small screws inside. Careful opening it. Voila. I'll put it on the side for now, these parts. And we're gonna dry install our paper holder and the paper box. So the negative holder is quite simple. We start with this piece. That's where later on you put the negative and you re-photograph it. We have another one. Slides in here. Boom, that's it. Okay. And we have these three pieces. This one goes on the bottom with that hole towards that hole here. Yeah, so it's like that basically. On top, and this is, on the, this is on the very top. Okay, you can take some dowels and fix that easily. So this is the negative holder. You slide it in here, and later on we put a screw in here so you can mark the position and you can, this will be in another video on how to use the camera, you can decide also um, the amount of focus you want to have and the amount of picture you want to actually photograph. That's that. We'll slide that, I'll show you that here, in here later on. Yeah, we have those dowels here right now, so I would need to take them out because later on we, oh, we saw them. But anyway, here, that's where it goes. Yeah, that's where the paper holder goes. All right. That was that. The next step is our paper box. Okay, so the paper box is sort of an extra feature for the camera where you will keep your photographic paper. And because it has to be light safe, so no light comes into this paper box, it has to be assembled well, but no problem. Let's look at these pieces. Number one, big piece, that's the button. That's what we start with, okay? So we take the button, and we have several bigger pieces and several smaller pieces. We start with the back, okay, back piece. Again, you can't do anything wrong. You know, it doesn't fit in the end, no problem. We do a dry assemble, that's why we do it. So you figure out, ah, mm, Actually, that's not how it's supposed to be. Then we take these two pieces. Those are the sides of the box. Okay. And I put them here on the sides. Okay. Now I'm going to take some tape again. I make a few strips here. Okay, then we'll take the front piece, um, which is this here. Nope, that's wrong. This here. Yeah. Okay, that's that. 
Then we can make the top here. These are both the same, yeah. So one fits here. Perfect. Okay, so that's the first part. Here we'll have an opening, all right? So that's the first part of the box. Just fix that here with tape. Okay, and then these parts here. Voila. It's the top here. Sorry, like that. Top here. Like that. Okay. Put that up. Okay, put that up. Then we have the side pieces here. Okay, so that's the top part, okay, which will open up like this later on. Now you're wondering, I still have pieces here. Why? Because this would not be light safe. Yeah? If I put that on top here, I will actually would have light come through those sides. So what we have to do, put these kind of side borders in yeah, to have an edge here so that it really closes well. Let's do that. So those are these two. All right. So now you see we have this little edge here to protect light coming in when we place our lid on top. All right, that's the paper box. In the end, we'll have this hinge here, which we put on top here. And because the leather is kind of strong and stiff, it will open up and the leather will pull it back. So, you know, it, that it doesn't really stay open, which would be very bad for your paper. That's the paper box and that's the negative holder. And that was that part. So, and the last package we have is the tripod package. So in here, doesn't look big, but in here are all the legs and all the parts for our tripod. Let's unwrap it. Okay, we have a big leather belt that's to put around the tripod to stabilize it. And we have these markings and that's where you actually later on fix the position of the tripod. We don't need that till the very, very end after it's sanded and, and um, varnished or whatever else you want to do it. Put a paint on it. Put that on the side. We have, of course, a package with a lot of bolts. That on the side here. Yep. Yeah. A lot of big bolts here that later on are to put the tripod together. Don't have to worry about them at this moment. A new sort of thing that you see here are these little pins. These pins later on are part inside the tripod and we have to glue them with super glue. So these two pieces are your tripod base and that base will then be underneath your camera. So that connects to the camera. We have nine of these little pieces here. Yeah. They will be the connection from your base here.
like so on all three sides and the tripods will then go from here yeah we'll glue these together of course and on the inside here we have three aluminium pins that go in here yeah that we also glue with super glue just to create a bit more stability on the inside so that's all in here let's just put that together so we see what it looks like Okay, so that's done. I can add those pins. Put them in here. Okay. What we'll do here later on is there is a hole for a bolt to connect from your box, from the camera, to the tripod. And you see these two holes here. These are actually for pins to really stabilize it. So it really stays in place. Because even if you, you know, screw it really strongly, it might still move a bit. So with these two pins, which we'll chop halfway through and connect to the back of the box we'll have real stability so these are these part i'll put that away for now then you'll see we have six of these pieces six of those and three of those final ones okay so on the top we have two of those make one leg and in the end they'll be placed in between I'm gonna put these metal pieces out for now because they might fall so it goes here yeah it's connected to here okay now to give it some stability we will add these parts here okay they'll be glued down and we'll put a little screw in all right I don't have to do it now we'll do that later on all together from here we have another two pieces These two, yeah, that go in here, and the bottom is our final leg, which is made of a different type of wood on the very bottom. For this leg, we also we also have a small piece of leather to protect the leg on the very bottom, which we will glue and nail in. Okay. So, what we can do already now before we put everything together is on those six pieces we have for the middle these ones here yeah we have to attach this small piece on the top okay so in the end it goes like it goes like that all right and for that we'll have dowels that we put in here Okay, there are three holes, two for dowels, and the center, we don't put anything in there, because there's a screw in the end, okay, a bolt. So only here are the dowels, all right? And then in those bottom legs on the very top hole, okay, that's where we place these pieces. They go in here in the center. Okay, now as we said, I'll put it back in this box before. We supply a little super glue. You can use the super glue or you can also use different types of glue, which is a 2K epoxy glue. Yeah, so two component epoxy glue. It's very, very solid. This is definitely the most solid option. If you plan to use your camera a lot outside, you move it a lot, if it's not stationary, maybe get yourself a two component epoxy glue because it is really, really solid and dries out different than the super glue. For regular usage, I've used one of these cameras for months and months and months, every single day. It worked absolutely fine, it's strong enough. It's just if you think, hmm, you travel a lot, or I don't, you know, I don't know. Depends what kind of photographer you are. Um, maybe a 2K glue is a little bit stronger. You can also use a regular contact glue, like, like this one. Um, so basically, it takes a long time to dry and you have to apply it first, and then let it sort of air out about 10 minutes. Then you put the pieces together and then you let it wait for 24 hours and it creates sort of a very very good bond that's a contact glue 